Hi friends, here in this video, I'll explain the velocity ratio formula for a Weston's differential pulley block. Now, as we can see from this diagram, there is a bigger pulley and then there is smaller pulley. Both are mounted on the same shaft having the same axis. There is an endless chain which is connected having one end connected to the bigger pulley and the other end to the smaller pulley. Similarly, we have another chain which is attached to the load here. As we can see here, there is one of the end of the chain is connected to bigger pulley and the other end to the smaller pulley. So we can see that these chains, one of the chain is used to apply the effort P and another chain would help us to lift the load. So at one of the ends, as we see here, an effort is applied. So this effort would be applied by us. That is it, since it is a simple machine. So we have to operate it either by hand or foot. So we would be pulling this chain. So we would be pulling this chain and once this chain gets pulled, then this bigger wheel will try to rotate in a clockwise direction. And once it tries to rotate in a clockwise direction at the same time, its other end is connected to the smaller pulley. It would also be rotating in a clockwise direction and in a similar manner when it rotates in a clockwise direction the load would get lifted so by applying a very small amount of effort at the chain onto the effort wheel we can lift a huge amount of load so this is the western's differential pulley block and the velocity ratio formula for it is given by So this is the formula that is 2D upon capital D minus small d where capital D is the diameter of the bigger pulley, small d is the diameter of the smaller pulley. Now instead of having these diameters of pulley, if suppose there was a gear or a tooted wheel on the bigger pulley as well as the smaller pulley, instead of that we would be having two gears, a bigger gear and a smaller gear, then the formula would have been. Velocity ratio is equal to 2T1 upon T1 minus T2. Where T1 is the number of teeth on the bigger wheel, whereas T2 is the number of teeth on the smaller wheel. And once we know the velocity ratio, we can calculate mechanical advantage, which would be load upon effort, that is W upon P, and it would be given by mechanical advantage is equal to the load lifted upon the effort applied and once MA and VR both are known we can calculate the efficiency for this simple machine that is Western's differential pulley block which is MA upon VR and for percentage efficiency multiply by 100. So in short that was a video regarding Western's differential pulley block. At the end, if you all find my videos helpful, you all can like, share, comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.